right now. cities across Canada and shut down major international <laughs> roadways, Listen, including the Ambassador Bridge to Detroit. <laughs> In Ottawa, more than 200 trucks so. turn the streets in front of back. Parliament no into a non-stop party. Don't throw the actual edible food. I think we're going on day uh, 15. Just throw the trash out. Whatever is edible, just keep. <laughs> and what was your reason for coming here? I don't know, motherfucker, well, just keep it. Freedom. Maybe I'll eat it. We're just taking time to see Canadians lose their rights and freedoms over the last two years. The reality is the protesters speak for a sliver of the Canadian Love public. 90% of the adult population is fully vaccinated, and polls consistently show that most I'm Canadians so hung disapprove I'm so hangry. I'm so hangry. I'm sorry. I'm being... I'm being... I'm gonna go talk to Austin. Hold on. ...of the ongoing blockades. And as the protests have drawn on, they've been fueled by extreme rhetoric and misinformation. Our government has been usurped by the World Economic Forum. They have it on the internet what they are going to do. So once we get our freedom Chat back, is getting ready to drop into that's when the Check real place starts. I don't see a vaccine. I see an experimental concoction, I honestly pray, that we don't wake up five years from now Austin, with thousands of Canadians getting disease and sicknesses that are going to be created by this. So far, the protests have been largely peaceful. But on Monday, Alberta police seized a cache of weapons at a trucker blockade. Are you willing to be employed to preserve and maintain the public peace? Yes. In viral videos from Ottawa showed participants being sworn in as a vigilante security force. Uh. By the way, uh, with the situation in Ukraine as it is, uh, it is a kinetic situation, as I like to say. I'm so old So now. we will continue uh, coverage throughout the day if new shit pops off. Okay? I decided away from the main protest. We met with one of the self-appointed police. Can you explain to me what this is? This is a, a P... P o peace officer. What does that mean? When we see people who do a troublemaker, we have, you know, it's our responsibility. We can arrest that person. You can arrest yeah, people? Yeah, we can. And you take this person, give it to the police. I have Tyra here and my car. Now. You have hand ties? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tyra, Tyra. Who, who gave you hand ties? I, I take it by myself. You brought them yourself? Exactly. Ottawa police haven't done much to clear the protest. But over the weekend, they started giving out tickets to some of the vehicles parked He's downtown. On Monday... Wait! They didn't start dishing tickets out immediately? Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, I hate... God damn, your country sucks, Canada. Bro, try that shit. Literally try that fucking shit anywhere else, dude. Try that in Los Angeles. Dog, I get ticketed outside of my fucking apartment when my car is registered! Are you fucking joking? These pieces of shit pig fucks are able to go to Ottawa and not even get a fucking ticket immediately? I mean, I got... Well, I'm so t I'm so mad. These fucking truckers in Canada, they did, they only started ticketing them like two weeks later. Did you get a ticket? No. Oh, I thought I'm you got saying. A, I thought you got a parking ticket. I came in right away. No. <laughs> I thought you got a parking ticket. No, I I'm I am in oh, my. Oh, they just started ticketing them. I'm Are saying you it's fucking fu kidding me. I'm saying it's like fucking uh, r ridiculous. You that they... fucking serious? I get a fucking ticket. Well, for no fucking front license plate. And these motherfuckers <laughs> can park right... Yeah, they got it. They got it, like, later. Hey, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau invoked the Emergencies Act, a law that's never been used, giving the government sweeping powers to end the blockades. What you would the what? country do if our own police and military... You know what? Now I'm on board with the Emergencies Act. I take it back.
They should use the Emergencies Act on the fucking cops, dude. That makes me so mad. That actually is insane. Like, they didn't even give him tickets immediately? What the fuck are you doing? They should retroactively emergency act the cops that didn't do ticketing. Or whatever turned on our own citizens in force. There would be a nationwide riot. Tyler Shellac says he won't be leaving soon. Are you worried that some people here might be preparing for violence? There definitely is a possibility of that happening. And the longer this drags on too, I think the higher chance there is of, of something happening. We definitely don't want to see anything like I that because that I think as long so as we stay peaceful, we have a higher chance of success. You are part of the plan and we need to trust the plan. I believe the vaccine is part of a globalist agenda and there's more to it than just being a vaccination against the COVID. Um, like why dude what this guy is just this person is a psycho okay this person is hallucinating in front of us this is not a movement leader how did it get to a point where like the people that have been left behind by our oppressive awful for-profit healthcare system in the United States of America that are not getting the adequate mental health uh, treatment that they need that sit on top of fucking soap boxes and apple boxes and yell about like the imminent Absolutely. end of the world are now seen as movement leaders that you need to listen to. How did this happen? We are literally now, we, we are living in a planet. We are living in a, in, on a planet. Now, we're just like, the more manic you are, the more you, you get attention, and the more legitimized your point of view is. That's the guy that you hear leaving yeah, like the subway station, okay? And you walk by him, and you try not to make eye contact. You feel bad? Or you try not to make eye con contact with him. He's clearly unwell. But in 2022, that guy has a legitimate gripe. That guy's a movement leader. Months of brain rot that guy oh, actually has a has lot of fucking man. good ideas that you need to listen to. Because he's anti-Big Pharma, bro. And he's a worker, bro. You don't understand, bro. That's crazy. Disease. What's the globalist agenda? The whole idea is to have one world government, like a one global currency, all digitalized, of course, and uh, the, the social credit system where the government can dictate your actions and your status in, in society based it on what you do or do not do or what you say or do not say. A lot of people will listen to that and think, well, that's a conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. So this whole protest movement, you know, is built on a conspiracy theory. Us conspiracy theorists, so to speak, we predicted the vax passes. We predicted the second and third boosters. And so the people who think that I'm crazy for saying this kind of stuff, I would ask them to go do their own research, find your own facts and form your own opinion. Don't let someone else tell you what to think. And don't be afraid of having your own opinion. Do you not think you're being told what to think by the people who are pushing the theories? In a way, yes, but I'm trying to form my own opinion from that, even though there are biased voices on both sides. How do you think this ends? So I think we're going to accomplish what we've set out to accomplish, and I think it is, it's going to end peacefully with people having the, the right to you know, just Insane. and fair trial. One year Wait, my which ship, people uh, having a just and fair trial? The people who uh, are, uh, that we've, I've talked about to have the corruption and the globalist plans and stuff. I think people are really watching what happens here to see, you know, if this succeeds with what we're trying to do peacefully, I think you're going to see this all over the world. Nothing that comes out of oh my god the daily wire thank god for the bold and brave troopers
um, what someone was saying. I was at the counter protest in Montreal, and while there were very few cops on bicycles surrounding the convoy, we had fully geared out riot cops surrounding us to prevent us from blocking the convoy protesters. This shit started in 2016 when Nazis appealed to the dumbass centrists and right wings by pretending like their arguments were equally valid to their actual uh, political issues worth discussing. Yeah, it's the worst fucking idea. Out of that office is shocking. The federal government is ready to use more tools at its disposal. Canadians wish to get the situation like us Americans, but instead they are just merely DCU. When will the federal USA. government impose the most significant tool of all? The top of the hour ad break defender. Top of the hour ad break avoider. The only method to be able to appreciate an ad-free broadcasting experience, uh, even if it's 20 minutes late when the ads are coming, that is, of course, a $5 a month subscription or a free subscription. Of course, uh, one that you can get with a Twitch Prime. That's right. Or, if you're lucky, someone like Bill Vogue, who just gifted five gifted subs, or someone like Coffee Dave, who just gifted five gifted subs, will be able to help you avoid the top-of-the-hour ads with a gifted sub, but if you're not lucky, you gotta make your own fucking luck, okay? Make your own goddamn luck. By subscribing, like I said, for five dollars or free, here's the Twitch Prime, or here's the ad break now. This criminal in the Peace Tower calling us criminals is not a leader. The federal government has invoked the Emergencies Act to Let's bot! Thank you for the fact that the territorial subs. capacity to address the blockades and occupations. For two years, we've all just done what we're told, right? Locked our businesses down, locked our families down, and now everybody's saying enough is enough. We're all coming together to end all the mandates and get our lives back, and they, they don't like losing the control. Trudeau has tried to divide Canadians. He's been, he's been trying to bully people into submission, and people have had enough. It's not over until everything is lifted and we're free citizens. Trudeau and the government, they're not making as much money because we're all parked here. And that's why they don't like it. I think the funniest part about this entire thing has been that these guys are getting cucked by Justin fucking Trudeau, okay? A person who is literally just the biggest bitch on the planet. Like, imagine getting absolutely cumstered and dumpstered by and saying is a tyrant. Like, imagine thinking Justin Trudeau is a fucking tyrant. Like, that's your tyrant, really? If Justin Trudeau is a tyrant to you, okay, as a white trucker hog, I mean, you're owned. You're fucked. Okay, you're fucked. When you got the RCMP siding with you, when you got Ottawa police members siding with you, when they have like literal fucking fractions. And you sit there and you fucking cry about Justin Trudeau. It's just like, you're not meant for the real world, Gross. my friend. It's like Donald Trump getting owned by Joe Biden. It's done. It's over. The fucking dead man destroyed you. Oh, he's a real tyrant, don't you know? I want to stay as long as I can, as long as it takes to make a difference. Because it's really important. Because if we don't do it, nobody else is going to do it. I was born in this city. And uh, I'm a very proud Canadian. I'm here in peace. It's not about me, it's about showing that we're here in peace. The international news has been coming and talking to us personally and everything. I've been standing here, as you know, for 16, 17 days. I'm not even sure anymore. Oh my God. Not one Canadian news source has come to interview me. I can't understand how they're using all these tools like the War Measures Act and all of this without even communicating with the lead organizers or, or anything like that. I just, I can't Bro, they have their own QAnon shaman. And this, this man... The Canadian version, don't you know? in the Peace Tower calling us criminals is not a leader. I ignored this for two years as it is. I don't even feel good about it. Because my life was cool. 
But now I realize what this has really done to people. I can't leave. Can't, it can't continue. The economy's been destroyed. Families have been destroyed. Kids are sleeping in their cars. <laughs> the <laughs> the economy's been destroyed by the vaccine mandate, which is why I decided to go to Ottawa and destroy it further. Like literally, just wreck the fucking economy. Like personally, I want to take the matter into my own hands. Don't you know? Cars, because their parents are putting them in bed in the back seat of their car now, instead of the home they once had, because they lost their home, because their family business closed their doors forever. It's bull. Well, I'm here. Every one of those cops, when they go home at night, what are they? Exactly like us, sitting down with their kids, having a meal, a glass of wine with their sweetie, whatever the case is, right? The same. They're not in a good spot. I don't envy their position at all. Starting already two years ago, I had concerns about uh, these government powers, their ability to just shut down businesses at the stroke of a pen. Um, I was concerned and uh, where it really pushed me over the edge is when I saw people losing their jobs and being discriminated against for their personal health decisions. From the beginning of this, the Trudeau government has, in, instead of engaging in conversation and dialogue with the wonderful people here, uh, he's instead... I mean, most people are just, one, most people are not truckers. Two, most people are not even there for the fucking vaccine mandates. They're literally there to fight back against like Facebook posts. It's awesome. To tier three, eh? It's dope. Instead chosen to attack with names, um, calling us uh, any number of things of, of terrorists or racists or uh, chauvinistic or all these things. And I think that's the sign uh, of a weak leader because strong the leaders, they engage way. with their people, they talk to their people, they hear their concerns. So Weeks ago, each of us who's still here we had to prepare ourselves mentally that we might, this might end with us being taken away in cuffs and each of us came to a place with ourselves, with our families, with those that we love, that we decided that this is, this is important enough and if I'm gonna be taken away in cuffs, if my assets are gonna be seized, then this is something that I'm prepared to do that for. People were arrested for having jerry cans, they were arrested for having fuel containers in their trucks, whether they were full or empty. And so the government has been arresting and charging people for made up crimes from the start of this. And so for them to sign new papers and make up new crimes doesn't really concern any of us at this point. The Trudeau government is, is afraid of us. Um, we are the working class, we are the people who were pushed around for not just these last two years, but for many years. If he needed extra money for any of his little projects, it was us who paid for it. It was our taxes that were regularly going up. Uh, over and over again, we have been the ones who've been silently um, being pushed around. Uh, more restrictions what? on how we run our businesses, more taxes, more difficult to, to raise months. our family and to succeed. And, uh, and, and, and enough is enough. And so people have had enough and they're ready to push back. And, and our, our leader is running scared. He's hiding in his bunker. Um, I don't know if he's afraid that uh, he'll get some free hot dogs if he's down here or um, someone will invite him into one of the saunas, but uh, he's afraid to actually engage with Canadians and um, he's, he's afraid of his own people. Right. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Yeah. We're here till the end. Yeah. We're not going nowhere. Yeah, me too. I told all my family. I got four boys, one of them's here with me. I got 14 grandkids and a great grandchild on the way. And I said, I'm going to Ottawa. I'm staying until this fight's over. Uh, this is part of me that Trudeau is trying to paint us uh, as outlaws and terrorists because anything that doesn't go with his narrative, he... Uh... Hey, what's he doing, bro? They were like, all right, Grandpa, go, you fucking psycho. That's what Trudeau always does, right? He points as a... That's the first, his first thing he points you as a, as a racist. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me at all. And I'm not worried about, about any of it. I think it's ridiculous because... We're not. There's all walks of life out here. I'm gonna be my honest with you. I don't. Even, I'm sorry. Get mad at me all you want. Cancel me if you want. I don't even give a fuck about the racism. Okay. I just. I don't. They're just so fucking annoying. Like their annoying attitude is is literally so overbearing. Like they're so fucking entitled. My bank account hasn't been frozen yet. Um, it's a little bit of a fear, but like I, I don't care about like the fucking eight Nazis that like are uh, have found themselves. In a position of prominence, okay? 
I don't care. Like, yeah, there's like actual fucking Nazis in positions of prominence in this movement. Of course, there's always some uh, weirdos. But they're not pro fucking protesting for, you know, uh, like stopping immigration or some shit. Okay. Most of these guys are just like dumb fucking hogs who have been brain broken. Okay. Who have been brain fucking broken into believing that they are uh to believing that they're right they're on the right side of history that like there is a medical apartheid like all these fucking words that they're using you know the the part about the the part about like fucking obviously you know racist dickheads like you know moving through this m movement of course they always do this that's not the main problem here but the thing is i've been i've been out of work because of the mandate so it's not really any difference to me i got no money coming in or anything like that so it's uh I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried about any of it, to be honest with you. He, he kind of wants to take total control and that's not what Canada's about. And we're finally, finally fighting back. And they don't like to see that, right? Because for two years, we've all just done what we're told, right? Locked our businesses down, locked our families down. And now everybody's saying enough is enough. We're all coming together to end all the mandates and get our lives back. And they, they don't like losing the control. I've never experienced anything like it. I don't think I'll ever experience anything like it again. Uh, just the unity, the happiness, the hope, the love that everybody has, the amount of support we've been getting out here in the convoy is just, it brings, it literally brings tears to my eyes every single day. When you know you're here for the right reasons, nothing phases you. I don't pay attention. I'm too busy uh, providing truckers showers and meals and uh, trying to make organization happen here. You know, are you going to back down now that, you know, the Trudeau and the government have invoked emergency powers does that shock he's giving you? him showers what on that? nothing that comes out of that office is shocking so no we told you guys when we started 17 days ago that we were here for the long haul i've bet a lot of cases of beer that i'm gonna see you guys here again right here having the same interview one year from today and i'll make the same bet with you what a grassroots revolution cannot be stopped so uh in my world, I always say where there's a J, there's a way, but uh, with the Canadians and the Freedom Fighters, there's, there will be a way to eat and there will be a way to, uh, to be cared for. Are you prepared to lose your truck? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, come take my truck, do whatever you got to do. It's, it's fine. Well, because it's just a material Relax, possession, right? right? Freedom is... Freedom is something much more than that. So take my possessions, put me in jail, sue me, do whatever you got to do. I mean, <laughs> you know, foreshadowing, uh, I think. Important narrative device. I don't think anyone has seen a terrorist organization that sets up bouncy castles, hot tubs, uh, live music, and cares for their city. And uh, sorry, have you heard of the fucking American government and the American military? Just saying, bro. They got fucking... Have you seen the... Have you seen how they, the, the Guantanamo Bay... Like, have you seen that fucking island, dude? ...and their people in the way that we have. Shoveling the streets, cleaning up the garbage, showing that we are here to be the best that Canada has to offer. Um, we are Canadians, we love this country, we love our freedoms, and we're They're simply so here to ensure that too. those are not taken away ever again. The military and the- What is this? Canada security in Blue Mountain, Ontario assaults a man in front of his wife and children for not wearing a medical mask despite being exempt. This is the candidate created by some government. Wait, what? What do you mean? Why is he medically exempt?
Just watch, just watch. Just watch, just watch. Just watch. You're laughing! A man is fighting for his life to get on a ski lift and you're laughing! Okay, there's zero percent chance this was just over him being maskless, okay? As is rarely the fucking case. No shot. People always are like, oh, well, it's just because I was maskless. It's like, no fucking shot. You probably were screaming belligerently. Like, there's no chance. It's so incredibly over the top to just, like, fucking arrest someone and beat the shit out of them. While it's funny uh, to watch... Uh, it is. It is ridiculous. But I don't believe that they're fucking... I don't believe that it was because he was, like, maskless. <laughs> well, this is awesome. This actually, this went, this went to a whole level of entertainment, though, right? This went. <laughs> what kind of medical exemption could you get that um, says you can't use a mask, but you can go snowboarding? Like, how are you? I mean, I just like, it's crazy. Oh, yeah, I got medical exemptions, dude. Like, what? But you're snowboarding. Like, do you know where you are, sir? Is the medical exemption your fucking brain? What, what is it? Hog crying on Twitter. Police just pepper sprayed me. I was several feet away from their front line and have obeyed every order to move back. That's fucked up. We got, we got front row seats for this. What? We got front row seats for this. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, it's physical. I've seen these on TikTok. It's real life. This is funny. All right, what is this? What's the post millennial say? Horses of rot. Oh, let's go! Did they think accidentally that the people were protesting, like, I don't know, a summit? Did they accidentally think that these were indigenous protesters? Maybe the fucking hogs finally saw all that misinformation about how, yeah, it's actually First Nations people that are uh, in the protest and decided to take action. What the fuck? It's crazy. They're water defenders! It's time to fight them!